There's been uproar in state parliament over secret papers showing the government's considering fees for state schools. Co-payments would be levied on higher income families. The Premier says it was all Tony Abbott's idea and she said no. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. It sounded like political dynamite. But they had a secret plan to bring in charges on education for students in this state. That set off a predictable explosion. We would never, ever, ever means test public education. Cabinet documents showing the government considering refinements to the current school system, including co-payments for high-income families. Surprisingly, not that unpopular at the school gate. If I, I can afford it, I can help subsidise other people who can't afford it. I think you should be able to have the option of going either way, whether you go a state school where you're not paying or uh, independent school where you are. But it came just as the Premier launched a new school's policy. I'm Anastasia, how are you? By 2020, she wants all Queensland kids learning the language of the future, computer code and robotics. Coding? Well, that's about great, it's year one. But there was work to do in the schoolyard of Parliament. Let me give the Leader of the Opposition um, a lesson in reading. And the reading is the first, the third line here, not government policy. According to the government, the idea of charging fees for state schools came from Canberra. Tony Abbott was the one who was pitching this around. We said no. But the Premier wasn't finished with reading class. So it appears that um, the former Premier thought that someone on the other side let him down. <coughs> the books given the government a fair supply of gotchas of their own. Live to Shane Doherty now at State Parliament. Shane, the document was real, but school fees were never going to happen? Well, if you believe the government, Andrew, that's exactly correct. The government says it was never considering this seriously. It was only because Tony Abbott asked them to. But the lesson of the day was how even political dynamite can blow up in your face, Andrew. All right, Shane, thank you.